You may have heard the term carbon intensity used to describe the environmental impact of producing a fuel. But what exactly does it mean? And how does it relate to hydrogen? Pure hydrogen fuel is key to a zero emissions world. It does, however, need to be extracted from other elements, such as oxygen or carbon, as it doesn't exist naturally on its own. There are various methods to produce hydrogen, some cleaner than others. This is where carbon intensity comes in. Carbon intensity is measured as the amount of carbon by weight emitted per unit of power generated. In other words, how much carbon is produced when, in this case, making hydrogen. Some methods of hydrogen production contribute to carbon emissions, but there are others that incorporate carbon capture and even remove extra carbon from the environment, making them carbon negative. Raven SR, a leader in this space, can produce 1,600 metric tons of hydrogen per year by converting just five garbage trucks of organic waste per day. This is enough to travel over 97 million miles in a fuel cell passenger car or over 12 million miles in a class eight fuel cell truck. This avoids almost five metric tons of CO2 emissions that would otherwise be emitted from landfills. Plus, it prevents 23,000 metric tons of organic waste from reaching the landfills at all. While Raven's proprietary technology does create minimal carbon emissions as it produces the hydrogen, that carbon is captured. Since landfill emissions are avoided by utilizing waste, the total outcome removes carbon from the environment, making it carbon negative. Carbon intensity most accurately measures the carbon footprint of a production technology, and leaders globally are starting to embrace it. Ultimately, the use of carbon intensity to measure the real emissions impact is data-driven. The data points are clearly defined, can be measured with certainty, and allow for responsible prioritization of hydrogen production technologies.